It may look like that I'm genuinely walking down the middle of a freeway, but I'm not. I'm actually in an FCA facility here in Windsor, Canada. And this is a 300 foot long building that is simulated to look exactly like a road. In this video, we are going to take a unique inside look at how Fiat Chrysler Automobiles designs and tests their new vehicles, including a machine that is built to beat the crud out of new cars and trucks. A station that tests for seat comfort. Those are officially called butt forms. A $10 million driving simulator. That is truly bizarre. And of course, this simulated highway that can turn any day into night. So this lighting tunnel is probably about 25 years old and um, we wanted a way to evaluate headlamps um, in the daytime without having to wait for it to get dark at night. Um, so this tunnel was built and we've used it for many years. From the very beginning, we'll do benchmarking of our competitive sets. So we'll rent vehicles or if they're in our fleet, we'll bring them over here. We'll use these the Sapphire system to, to measure the beam patterns of our competition and to see you know, where their strengths are and weaknesses and obviously know what we have to, to do to, to do better than them. One of the big challenges with developing a headlight for a full-size truck is of course glare with oncoming traffic. So IHS and RAM have worked a way around that. And check this out. You can see the light pattern projected there on the screen from this RAM 1500, but do you see that little notch? That's actually a glare notch to prevent your truck from blinding oncoming traffic. It's a pretty cool piece of tech. It helps get this vehicle an IIHS top safety pick. And you can actually see it in action right there. You probably can't feel this right now, but it is zero degrees Celsius here in this brake testing chamber. And I am surrounded by feet feet of noise silencing material and that's because this is a room where FCA tests for noise, vibration and harshness with the braking system. So they run the brakes through their paces and then those very delicate little probes, those are actually all microphones and they listen for noises that shouldn't be there, vibrations that shouldn't be there. This is not actually where they do the performance testing, this is all about noise, vibration and harshness specifically around the brakes and they can lower this room to negative 20 degrees C all the way up to 40 degrees C on the high end. What you're looking at behind me is a Jeep Gladiator that is going under 10 years worth of wear and tear or about 160,000 miles but of course it's all doing it on this specially designed machine and this machine can simulate those 10 years worth of hard use in just four to six weeks of 24 hour cycles. So this machine is always putting this Gladiator through its testing, then they're going back, they're looking at the suspension, the doors, everything throughout to make sure that it's lasting like it should. Trench events, potholes, um, things like going over rail car tracks, different off-road conditions. Every FCA vehicle is tested. There's different roads that we, that we run for different vehicles. We wouldn't have a, a Fiat 500 doing uh, the same thing that a Wrangler or a Gladiator does. We do it here within four to six weeks. Okay. Uh, comparably, if we had a driver um, doing the same kind of activity, it'd be four to six months. We, we do multiple inspections each and every single day. But at the end of the actual test, it's doing a, a full teardown inspection. So parts go to the specific uh, corresponding um, design engineers, they, they strip paint, they, they look for cracks, that, that kind of do a full analysis on the actual parts. Um, even engine compartment where wiring harnesses are, um, and any kind of rubbing, all those things are really evaluated. That's the benefit of doing a full vehicle, we can see everything. Running this Jeep through its paces for 24 hours a day means that they can simulate driving this vehicle around the earth six times in just six weeks. Welcome to the seat development lab here at the ARDC. What you see behind me is a pressure distribution map. And what they can do here is really see exactly how different body types fit in different seats. So this is a large male, and then they can go all the way over to a small female. And the hard part about their jobs here is they have to design a seat that's comfortable for each and every body type. And it, if you don't have an infinitely adjustable seat, which is not possible, then it's really difficult to do so. Now this robot behind me is doing something pretty cool. It's actually testing for firmness of seat. So it's got a little arm that jabs into the cushion and then retracts and sees how firm the seat cushion is. And this right here is your 50 percentile male. So this is just your average dude 
sitting in a seat. I will say he doesn't have arms or much else if we're being honest, but this is what it would look like for just a typical male sitting in an FCA seat. According to FCA, the average American spends 500 hours a year in their vehicle, so the seat has to hold up. Now down here in this screen, we actually have a simulation that shows them testing their seats for 30,000 in and out cycles, or about 10 years of use, and that happens in how long, three weeks? Just three weeks. And finally, that behind me, those are officially called butt forms, but I think you can kind of imagine what they do. But they use them for seat testing, make sure that the seat's gonna hold up and that it's comfortable for steel butts. That is truly bizarre. What? Hey guys, check it out. I'm about to drive the world's most expensive Ram 1500. And the best part is I can't even crash it. We're excited at FCA in, in sharing this new, this new uh, product development tool uh, with, with you. Um, it's an important tool that uh, we've invested a great deal of money that we uh, expect will help us uh, develop our product more efficiently and more robustly and ultimately mean better customer satisfaction, and better customer uh, result. Wow, that is freaky. So what you're looking at is the combination of five projectors all stitched together, five 4K projectors. And the craziest part of this is not only can it simulate small bumps that a typical six axis simulator can do, it can actually simulate side to side motion like you're actually cornering with real G's, up to two G's in fact. You can go ahead and push the start button between the two seats. Yep. And push the throttle and start driving. It'll be in first gear, it's an automatic transmission. And it is a truck. So as we get to the corner one and corner two, the two right-handers following this little sweeper here, they're quite slow. Wow, this is a truly bizarre situation. Because you look down and you're in the cab of an actual Ram 1500, and yet, well, honestly, nothing feels different. The brakes actually have real feel. The steering actually weights up around a corner. So it's used in a couple of senses. Um, first of all, uh, what it allows us to do is become less reliant on a physical property. Um, we're able to do a lot more work up front in, in not only developing the vehicle, but developing the systems within the vehicle, systems like the braking system, systems uh, the steering suspension systems, uh, the forward lighting system, etc. Um, we're able to do all that work up front in the simulator before having to put it in a vehicle. And when we get to the vehicle, it's more verification than validation for the first time. So this right here is the control room for the simulator, and it really does look like something straight out of NASA. This computer right here is where they can run models, so they can model what the vehicle is going to perform like on a virtual simulation and then they can apply it to the actual simulator and allow the driver to get in and see if it really does feel like the model recommends. But what's cool is they can actually apply changes on the move so they can change a shock absorber or a spring rate and it will actually feel different in the simulator. It allows a lot of development to happen before they can actually get out onto the proving grounds and make the change in prototype. Now what FCA has done is they've actually scanned this road with an inaccuracy of five millimeters. So every imperfection is coming through the cab of this truck, and when you turn, you can actually feel it. Now if I give it some beans there, hear a little bit of Hemi V8 coming through. There's 100K. I even have a review mirror and side mirrors as well. 128K, Let's move it around just a little bit. And harder on the brakes. Whoa, that was a little ambitious there. So hard on the brakes, you can actually feel it start to pivot around. Wow. So some wheel squeal. What makes this simulator so unique is that it actually floats on a cushion of air with just a three micron gap between the simulator and a 20 ton metal plate. What this means is that when you go around a corner, the whole thing kind of moves like a puck on an air hockey table. So you can feel yourself being pushed into the side bolster. I will say, it does take a hot sec to get used to. That's, that's where the Ram 1500 comes in. It's not a, not a Hellcat but they can run models on computers, change things virtually, bring them into the simulator before they even get them out in the real world. 
allows them to not only save time but also add quality because they can simulate exactly and for what kind of vehicle. Now if it looks like I'm driving poorly, it's because I'm driving quite poorly. And actually the simulator is telling me I'm driving poorly, so that's great too. Hard on the throttle. Yeah, <laughs> you can kind of simulate the back end coming around. They can even simulate traction control, stability control, ABS, all in the real world. If you're not used to it, it, it does make you feel just a little bit queasy. There is only one of these simulators like this in North America anywhere. This is it. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Could this be used for real development? Or if you're like me, could it just be the best gaming system ever? As always, this is Tommy with the Fastlane Truck. Go back to cfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world reviews.